St. John, 5th chapter, verse 39. Welcome to Life Journey, Glory Church International. I'm your host, Theophilus Fernandez. St. John 5, 39 says, Search the scriptures, for in them ye think ye have eternal life, and they are they which testify of me. And ye will not come to me that ye might have life. Ten reasons why the Bible is not just a book. Ten reasons why the Bible, the Holy Scripture, is not just a book. Now this is ten eyes of the Bible. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. Number one is a book of information. Hallelujah. Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 says, In the beginning God created heaven and the earth. And it's round and not flat. Number two, the book of the book is a book of insight. It can see the future before it happened. Prophecy, the book of Revelation, Proverbs, Wisdom, and Psalms, Devotion. Number three, it's a book of inspiration of the book of Psalms and the Songs of Solomon. Number four, it's a it's a it's a book of interest in you, the book of Ecclesiastic. And it's all vanity and vexation of the spirit of man. Number five, it's a book that expose, hey, glory to God, the, in, the, the ignorance of man. The book of Romans, hey, glory to God. Right? The book of Romans, chapter, glory to God, chapter 1, verse 26 and 27. Now listen, listen to this now. I'm saying... I'm saying to you that it's a book that exposed the ignorance of man. The book of Romans, especially Romans chapter 1. Amen. Chapter 1, verse 26 and 27. And it read, For this cause God gave them unto vile affection, for even their woman did change their natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise also the men leaving the natural use of a woman burn in their lust one toward another and men with men working that which is unseemly and receiving themselves the recompense of their error which was meet. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over a reprobated mind to do those things which are convenience. He glory to God. And number six, it's a book of intelligence. The book of Job. Where, where can we find wisdom? In Job chapter 28, verse 26 to 28. And listen what, what Job said. He glory to God. He said, when he made a decree, he glory to God for the rain and a way for lightning of thunder. Then did he see it and declare it, and he prepare it, yea, and search it out. And unto man he said, Behold, the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom, and to depart from evil is understanding. But look what, look what verse 18 says. Not mention shall he made a coral of pearl, for the price of wisdom is about ruby. The topaz of Ethiopia shall not equal it, neither shall it be valued with pure gold. Whence then cometh wisdom, and where is a place of understanding? See, it is hid from the eyes of all living, and kept close from the fowl of the air. Destruction and death say, we have heard the fame thereof with our ears. God understand the way thereof. And he know the place thereof, for he looketh to the end of the earth and see it under the whole heavens to make the weight of the wind. He weight the water by measure. He go to God. Number seven is a book that interview man, kind, folly, and fault. The book of, of, of prophets, Isaiah, Ezekiel. Jeremiah, just name a few, few Habakkuk, all the book leading to captivity of being disobedient and worshiping idols. He glory to God. Number eight, the book revealed the intimacy 
with mankind. John 3, 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believed on him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And God sent his best to earth to die, buried, and came back to life. Number nine, the book revealed the illumination of Jesus Christ, of being the light of the world. But men love darkness rather than light. Number ten, the book showed the incredible of God. What? The book showed the incredible of God, the power in Daniel in the lion's den, and the three Hebrew boys in the fiery furnace, Shakrai, Meshach, and Abednego. The deliverance of the children of Israel from Egypt to the promised land. What I'm saying? He wrote to God. I'm saying that, say, ten reasons why the Bible, the Holy Scripture, is not just a book. It's a book of information. He wrote to God. When I say it's a book of information, it's a book of insight. Hallelujah. It's a book of inspiration, a book of interest. A book to expose the ignorance is a book of intelligence, a book that interview, the book of intimacy, and a book of illumination, and the book of incredibleness of God's power. I'm talking about, glory to God, ten reasons why the Bible is not just a book.